Hello everyone, just gonna make a quick video on some changes to Z-Wave that occurred in version 2021.4 of Home Assistant. So let me go ahead and take you over to the Home Assistant webpage, and we're gonna take a look at what the breaking changes are. You can click on release notes, and I always go down to breaking, you read it all, but I go to breaking changes down here, and specifically what I'm talking about is Z-Wave JS. And in this Z-Wave JS update, um, this is not specifically what I'm talking about, but temperature and Fahrenheit will now have um, multiple, uh, have better precision. Um, so it's now um, had a precision of around a precision. And now it's going to be that it has a little bit more uh, precision with a 10th tenth, tenth position reported. All right, so that's that. But here's this part that I'm talking about. The Z-Wave JS notifications are now called Z-Wave JS value, and that's useful in scenes, and Z-Wave JS notifications for things like door locks. And what occurred to me, and what happened to me, and let me do, uh, I'll show you real quick what I'm talking about on my side. In Node-RED, I use an automation to do some things when the door is unlocked. And I was using this front door unlock code and sending this binary or this sensor uh, alarm type over to Home Assistant or to my automation. So I was getting alarm type here from uh, the Z-Wave mesh network, but now I'm not getting that anymore because the change has changed this to Z-Wave JS notification. And so I don't have a sensor at all. What I have to do is I have to look at the Z-Wave or have to look at the event bus in Home Assistant, and I'm looking for a specific thing called Z-Wave JS notification. And I have, to in, I have to intercept that on the event bus. I send that over here to the event label. So keypad unlock operation is the name of that. And I'll show you that here in just a moment. And then when, it, when that's true, then it does all my actions. For scenes, the same thing occurs, but with a scene, you're gonna get a Z-Wave value notification. And I have an automation in Home Assistant. Um, whoops. I have an automation in Home Assistant that I use to turn on all of my lights. Uh, let's go to automations, please. I probably just reloaded them. Uh, I use this automation to turn all my lights on if I double press my Zeus paddle switch. And you can see here, that my event is a Z-Wave JS event. And, and, and I get this label, which is a scene 002, the node ID and the key press two times. Those all come to me via the scene, um, come to me via the, the event. Uh, now what has changed, instead of using Z-Wave JS event, I'm gonna use Z-Wave JS value notification. So uh, let's see here. We'll go back over here and we'll call it Z-Wave JS value notification. Oops, value underscore notification. And now we save this and this is going to now read that event type and look for this event data. And if this event data occurs, it's going to call the service to turn the switches on, which turns on all my lights. Now, if you want to see what's going on on either one of those two things, you can go over to developer tools and I hit the C on the keyboard as a shortcut. So C brings up that little window you're looking at here. Go to developer tools, look at events, and you want to subscribe to events. So if you want to look at what the door locks are doing, Z-Wave JS notification, and you click on start listening. And I'm going to just flip my door lock remotely. So let me go over to a window here. I just open the door lock and I'm going to get an event that fired here. Z-Wave JS notification, command class 113, command, and none of that's important for my, my purposes. What I'm looking for is this event label. And this event label is called RF unlock operation. And if I get an RF unlock operation in my switch node here, RF or keypad unlock operation, um, I'm, I showed you RF, but keypad is what I'm looking for. If someone unlocks it via the keypad, then I'll get this value and that will go through. Um, one of the things you can do is if you look at uh, the output of this right here under message payload and you unlock the lock, 
and I'll do that, I'll lock it now. What you'll see in Node-RED is you'll see a debug notice coming from here. And if you wanna know how to find the actual path, the property value that you're looking for, you can come down and open these up. And specifically, I'm looking for this event label, this little tiny thing right here uh, is called, let me move myself out of the way. Oops, not that. Let me move myself out of the way. Hold on, I can do it. This right here is your uh, path. And so if I click on this and say copy path, um, then it now has the path and I can just paste that directly into this property value. So my message is payload.event.eventLabel. And that's how you know um, that this is coming into it. Now you can do other things too. Like you can specifically look at the node ID. So you can add logic that only if one lock keypad unlocks, then you do this action or whatever. So you can get the path that way as well. And you can build all the logic out however you want to do that. The point is that you need to make sure that you are now using the Z-Wave JS value notification, the Z-Wave JS notification, and looking at the event labels, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So just a quick update on that. Hope that helps some of you all that, that are maybe struggling with the changes. Um, it's for the better. It makes it more consistent, more scalable, uh, more compliant with the way it should be. And so we're ready to go with that. So if you have any questions, just leave those down in the comments below. If you liked the video, do a quick thumbs up and subscribe if you're not a subscriber and hit me up on Discord and we will see you on the next one. Cheers.